and welcome back to the channel in this video as we navigate through some traffic here I want to do a follow-up to yesterday's video that I did and we were talking about class 3 e-bikes and no throttle beyond 20 miles per hour and if you didn't see that video I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check that one out and this is kind of a follow up to that and what I wanted to talk about today is specifically throttles on e-bikes would you buy an e-bike without a throttle because there's no way I would because I think the throttle is too important Maybe it depends on how you're riding and where you're riding, but for me, it's definitely, for a commuter bike, I don't know why that guy was stopping, but not a stop sign there. It's definitely a commuter and fun bike, both. Um, but uh, I think if you're commuting on a bike, an electric bike I think it's almost a must at least in my world it would be to have a throttle even if you don't use it very often it's there you know like for a few things like for example one of them is getting out of intersections not this particular one here because there's nobody around but the ones that are busy uh, I like to get in and out of there as quickly as I can. So, so I um, like to use the throttle, at least to get started, on no matter what bike I have. And some bikes, like the one I'm riding right now, the Lyric Graffiti, I only throttle on this bike. I don't pedal this bike at all. This isn't really a pedal bike. Doesn't mean it's not an e-bike, it's just not one that is uh, really conducive to pedaling in my in my for me anyway the grizzly for example the aerial rider grizzly it's a fast bike but you can pedal that one but uh, i just can't uh, be without a throttle uh, the other thing is um, If you get tired of pedaling and you want to take a break, or what if you get a cramp in your leg or something like that, and you're unable to pedal, you know you're, but you want to get home, you know, uh, you should be able to use the throttle, and that's why a few of the reasons why I would pick a throttle. Sometimes it's hard to get these bikes because they're a little bit heavier than that and get them going you know at first the first few seconds that's always a little bit tougher I mean you could probably change your gears uh, if you want to be a gear changer and constantly be changing your gears you could do that I suppose but I kind of like to have my gear set uh, and then just um, so I don't have to uh, mess with it too much unless you're going up a hill and you want to I'll lower the gear. I like to have mine up usually on the highest gear. Um, you know, because if you're going to pedal, you don't want to be ghost pedaling. But um, like a class one bike for me would be out. I, I wouldn't be interested in a class one at all. A class two, yeah. I mean, you get throttle and uh, pedal. And then a class three, silly as it is, you know, uh, you can only pedal to 20 or only throttle to 20 and then you got to pedal beyond that. I still think that's a silly uh, law or rule or whatever you want to call it. Um, but my question today is, could you live without a throttle at all on your e-bike? My answer is no, uh, no way. Give me my throttle. 
So let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Maybe, uh, maybe you're one of those ones that doesn't mind not having a throttle. Or maybe you're like myself and and say no, I want I want both. I want the option to pedal if I want, and I want the option to throttle if I want to do that too. I don't know what the ratio would be, but I'd be interested to know in how many would say no, I'll pass on a bike, buying a bike with uh, no throttle. So we'll see uh, what happens in the comments and how people feel about this as to whether they would be okay with buying a bike that doesn't have a throttle. Or do you prefer the throttle even if you're not using it constantly, but at least to get you out of situations, maybe uh, up a hill. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video on would you be okay with your bike not having a throttle? It's still gonna have the motor, but you have to do all the pedaling to get it going and, and keep it going. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us and just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below whether it be for this video or any other video that you've seen on the channel once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road see you next time